There are those who ask, wasn't the Torah and the Injil lost by the time that the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, uh, came, peace be upon him? Were they lost? We do not find anything affirming that in the Quran itself. For in Surah Al-Imran, Ayat 3, we are told the following. نَزَّلَ عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ بِالْحَقِّ مُصَدِّكًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ وَانْزَلَ الْتَوْرَاتَ وَالْإِنْجِيلَ It clearly says that the Gospel and the Torah was in the hands, it was بَيْن يَدَيْهِ It was in the hands of the Christians and the Jews in the time of the proclamation of Muhammad, peace be upon him. It would not make sense to say in that verse, Musaddikan limabayna yadaihi, to confirm that which is between their hands. What is there to confirm if it is lost already? That verse would not make sense. Now, Muhammad has said to the people who were there in his time that if they want to be able to learn about Muhammad, they need to go to the Torah and to go to the Injil. Well, what does this mean? Clearly it means that the people had the Torah and had the Injil at that time. If you look in chapter 5 of the Quran, verses 46 and 44, as well as 64 and 66, you'll see that he's telling people to go and judge by the Torah and the Injil. Well, how can someone go and judge by the Torah and the Injil if they don't have it? Clearly they had it. And in fact, according to Surah Abu Dawud, Muhammad put his hand on the Torah and said, I believe in thee and him who revealed thee. And so Muhammad in his time was very clear in saying that the Torah is the word of God. The Injil is the word of God. And so the Torah and the Injil, as Muhammad touched it, saw it, knew it, has never changed. Since there are many copies of the Injil and Torah existing today from centuries before Islam, and since these are the books Muhammad was referring to when he placed his hands on these scriptures and confirmed them as the word of God, then this allegation cannot be true. Writing on this topic, distinguished Muslim professor Saeed Abdullah concluded, since the authorized scriptures of Jews and Christians remain very much today as they existed at the time of the Prophet. It is difficult to argue that the Quranic references to Taurat and Injil were only to the quote-unquote pure Taurat and Injil as existed at the time of Moses and Jesus respectively.